All right, I'm um, I'm going live, you guys. I'll wait for all you guys to get here before I start the event. Um, I figured I'd just hang out with you guys tonight and uh, just do a little bit of a live stream on the weekend. And we're going to have some fun, I hope. <laughs> I don't know really what we're going to do. This was kind of just a uh, spur of the moment thing. And I figured I'd do it later in the evening. Uh, that way, people from all over the world could show up. I know East Coast time, it's a little late. So I just want to say hi to everybody. Um, I didn't get out to make a video this weekend, or this week, I should say. So I figured I'd just pop in here and let you all know that I'm still alive and having fun. We just had a good week. Um, I had uh, family come into town. And I just didn't really plan for for really making a video. So uh, that's really how it goes sometimes. But I just want to say hi to everybody. Looks like we got J-Dub in the house. What's going on? We got Dana at Mountain Sport Air Guns. How you doing, brother? Teresa, thank you so much for showing up. Polo Pony, how are you doing? Man, we've already got... 40 of you guys in here. Wow. <laughs> Allie or Ollie. Hello. Good to see you. Nicholas. Outdoor. Bomb Outdoors. Love the vids. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay. Let's see here. I got to adjust a little bit of the, the lighting mechanics in here. Real quick. There we go. Okay. Manny. How you doing? Good to see you, Kim Dane. I'm not related to Fowler. No, I'm not. <laughs> Maybe it's the red beard, but I don't have red hair. So I don't know. <laughs> Definitely not related, though. Amex, how are you? Great to have you on. Colleen. Hey. Uh, I'm not sure how to say your name. Where are you at? I am currently at, at home. I'm in my backyard, <laughs> which is in Washington State. Eric King, good evening. Good to see you. I'm not sure if I, Rene, Rene, I'm not sure how to say your name. I'm sorry, but what's up? <laughs> Mandy, hello. Fonzo, it's good to see you. All right, so uh, hopefully I've gotten most of you guys. Um. Oh, Michael Jones. Hey. <laughs> all right. So I just want to say hi to all you guys. Um, if I missed you on there, just know that uh, I say my hellos to you. And I thank you so much for showing up. Um, I don't know. I just figured we'd hang out, have a little live stream and do some coffee. So I've got my coffee set up here. Um I don't know what time it is where you guys are, but it's currently um, 8.24 in the evening on the West Coast. And we're sitting at 44 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't know Celsius conversion on that, but some of you guys know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do coffee. I've got a little coffee set up right here. Um, we'll get that started. I've got... Some of you guys have seen this already, uh, the Kuju coffee in a couple of my videos. I really am liking this. It's super easy and very convenient. So we'll just start this up. I've got a uh, nice airflow in here and we'll just start that up and get to having some coffee. So like I said, this week was a little crazy. I had family in town, so I just, I didn't make a video. Um, and I hope you guys know that that does happen. <laughs> I know I've made plenty of live streams telling you guys I'm sorry. Um, so I don't want that to be what this is about. I just want to hang out with you guys. So it looks like it's 11.24 p.m., 11.30. I am definitely in a fancy tent. <laughs> Greetings from Long Island. Good to see you. Florida. What time is it in Florida? <laughs> It's probably pretty late, right? 
So I don't know if it's really the best idea for me to be having coffee right now. Um, but I'll probably be up. I usually stay up pretty late. Um, probably one o'clock. Typically, me and the wife stay up until one o'clock uh, doing work related stuff. So it, it's not not too strange for me actually to have coffee this late. 1130. <laughs> Snowing in the mountains of Virginia. You know what? J-Dub, we had snow today. We had rain, blue skies, and then we had some snow. It was really weird. Um, but I got to tell you about my day. <laughs> we went roller skating. The last time I went ro roller skating, I'm not even sure when. Uh, but it was a long time ago. <laughs> and the place still looks the same. Uh, it really brings back memories when you go into one of those old, old, uh, roller skating rinks, but we had a good time. It was the kid's first time going roller skating. Um, my boy Jackson kind of hurt himself a little bit on his wrists, you know, falling first time you go at, get out there. It's a, it's a little treacherous. <laughs> oh, I got to hurry up here. Let's get this coffee ready. Cause our, uh. The water's almost done. So you just take this, open it up. And you got this little pouch. Shake it down. Open that up. And then it's just a little pour over. Put that on there. Perfect. And then our temperature is almost there. We'll be having coffee here in just a second. You need to go roller skating. Yeah, if you haven't gone, uh, get out there and see see if you still got it. <laughs> I had so much fun roller skating. I really did. I couldn't believe that I was still able to get out there and roll around and have fun like a little kid. <laughs> Hi from Pakistan. Welcome to the live stream. Good to have you here. Hope everything's going well in your area. All right. So that water is pretty much there. So we'll shut that off. We'll go ahead and pour in. Oh, the sound of coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's going to be good. It's good coffee, too. It really is. I like the convenience factor. Yeah, it really is cool. Hello. Good to see you. Not sure how to say your name there. You love rollerblading. Oh, sorry. You love rollerblading. Yeah, that's what I did. Inline skates. Um, I couldn't do the regular skates. I don't know. I played a lot of uh, street hockey when I was growing up. So I really like the, the inline skates, rollerblades, whatever you want to call them. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, really. J-Dub's asking what time it is in Pakistan. Got to let us know. <laughs> We're just over here pouring coffee, you guys. <laughs> Something I didn't really think about is where I'm going to put this. Okay. It's probably enough. I'll just set it down. Yeah. Kind of move this out of the way. I'll just do a little bit of a setting it down right there. Kind of give that wood a little nice finish, you know, a coffee finish. 
Now I'm just going to pour a little bit of water in there to cool it off. Just a little bit. Okay. All right. Got coffee. Probably still a little too hot. But cheers, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Oh, yeah, it's hot. It's very hot. I'm going to let that cool. <laughs> so, man, people from all over the world, thank you guys. Thank you guys for showing up. I got to adjust my light. It's a little too bright on me. Sorry, hold on one second. Okay. First time to watch you live, watching from Manila, Philippines. Thanks so much, Jeremy. So good seeing you guys uh, on here on the live stream. Um, I get to, not everybody gets to see or get to join my live streams because I, they're kind of random. And uh, I've been trying to do them on different times, you know, of the day. Uh, that way I can kind of reach out to some of you guys uh, from around the world, like in the Philippines, Pakistan. I think I saw something about Korea. Man, people from from all over the world. I just thank you guys so much for being here. Barry says, what up, mom? How the heck are you? Doing well. <laughs> I'm even better now that I got some coffee. Hope you're doing well as well. Well as well. <laughs> Hong Kong, wow. Man, I'm telling you, you guys are from all over the world. And I think it's the coolest thing ever. Watching from Israel. Thank you so much. Okay, so a little bit of uh, what's been going on. Um, some of you guys have seen in the last video that I carved up a little fox. Well, little did I know that that was the beginning of like, kind of, uh, I don't know, excitement. Uh, it was fun. And I think I found a new hobby. I'm not going to say that I'm good at it. Um, but <laughs> it was a lot of fun to carve this little guy. And uh, some of you guys might have saw too that he had a little bit of a, a blemish. So got the train in the background. Um, so I went ahead and filled him with some wood filler. And this isn't the right color because it's all I had in the shed. But I'm going to sand it down and I'm going to paint him. And kind of clean him up a little bit. Make him a little bit, little neater. But if you were following me on Instagram, so after I got the whittling bug, if you want to call it, I made a spoon. So I attempted my first spoon. And this is a walnut spoon. Um, I just went to my local uh, woodcraft store and bought up a blank piece of walnut. And I just started whittling and having fun. And I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but I was super excited about it. Um, I think this is really cool. I had a whole lot of fun with it. And I, I'm going to do a little bit more of this on the channel if it's something that you guys like to see. Um because it's just fun. Uh, so I went and bought, I've been carving. So I, the first thing I carved, I don't even know what this was, what kind of wood. I'm terrible with wood. I don't know what kind of wood most, most of the time what it is, but this was pretty hard. Um, it wasn't super easy to carve. So then I went and got the walnut, which was pretty hard to carve. And then I had some, I think it's black locust, black locust, I think. And that was a hardwood too. So I started carving this little, wanted to make it into a little like a uh, pocket spoon. Anyways, I, the piece that I had had a big crack in it. So I had to cut it off uh, to kind of salvage it. I'm not done with this, but this was going to be my little pocket spoon. I don't know, maybe soup or something <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, this was 
this is very difficult to carve because it's super hard. And today I went and got some basswood. Now this is just kind of a little tiny piece uh, that I wanted to whittle up because apparently this is the best stuff to really carve. It's super easy, it's soft. And I've seen so many people make some really cool characters. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I really didn't get into details. If any of you guys are even interested in this stuff. Um, but I didn't get into any of the details of what I was using. I went and purchased this little pocket knife. Uh, it's a flex cut. Oh man, I think it's a carving jack. So it's got all your carving tools inside here. And I just thought this was super neat to be able to take out while camping. You've got your, your curve, curve spoons and your blades and stuff for, for making spoons and, and stuff. So I thought that was really cool. If that's something you guys want to keep seeing on the, on the channel, I'll keep showing you guys it and uh, just having a lot of fun. I, I, I've just started watching a ton of people carbon stuff so i'm my mind's a ticking <laughs> uh, so let me check your guys's comments oh so i just saw a brisket <laughs> i'm scrolling through the comments and i see brisket what oh <laughs> uh, you're in phoenix and you're smoking two 17 pound briskets what time what should i show up what time should i show up <laughs> And six pork butts. Wow. Wow, well, Barry, I think you're going to have uh, some good eatings there come tomorrow. Uh, that sounds delicious. Super good. Wow, you guys, this is crazy. But yeah, I've been having, I've been having a lot of fun with that uh, carbon stuff. Um, I haven't used this spoon yet. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to like put it through its test in one of the videos. <laughs> Spoon looks good. Thank you guys. It was, it was a lot of fun. So you broke the handle off and now it's a pocket spoon. <laughs> yeah, that's how you work it. That's how you work it, gunslinger. <laughs> You break it off, you just got to keep going with it. <laughs> Do you need walnut, cherry, oak, ash, sycamore? You name it, it's more than likely in my yard, really. Um, man, if you got... Black locust will throw sparks off a chainsaw. Oh, yeah, it's hard stuff. Um, we... Uh, my dad actually chopped one down and uh, he sent us some of that wood to burn and man, it was, it was hard to burn. Um, but it, it was nice wood. Um, yeah, I don't really have, um, I live basically with pine trees. Um, and I really need to kind of broaden my, uh, knowledge of trees so I can, while I'm out there, find certain trees to whittle up while I'm out in the, the woods, I guess. But man, it sounds like you got some good stuff around you, uh, J Dub. It's very, yeah, Eric. That's what I found out. Very soft. Uh, good for making like characters and figurines or whatever. So that's what and faces too. I, the next thing I wanted to carve was a, like a face. <laughs> oh man, if I could camp in Pakistan I don't know I don't know if I'd ever be able to get over there but K2 oh man yeah I, I don't know if <laughs> I'm even ready for anything like that <laughs> mm, that's good coffee anybody else drinking coffee <laughs> okay so what else did I have to talk about you would love to see more wood carving. Okay, good. Oh, cool. It's stainless steel spoon, huh? Don't get me started. Uh, the wife's not going to be happy with you. <laughs> I start on another one. I mean, just alone for, 
for the wood tools. I don't know if you guys have looked at the wood tools, but this little pocket knife is not cheap. Um, not cheap at all. I think this was like 160 bucks, but it was like a kit. So it came with the, the sheath and, and uh, sharpening stuff. But I don't know. There, I probably could have got it for a better deal. But my local store kind of, you know, I wanted it and I wanted it now. But <laughs> I've been back into that store three times now since. And I can't get into another hobby. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Okay, so. Man, I'm trying to catch up to you guys' chats. Um, ooh, drinking a chai tea latte. Okay, I didn't answer your question. I'm going to have to scroll up and find it, okay? Or you can re-ask it. Yeah, because I can't find it. So go ahead and re-ask re your question there. Hello from Morocco. <laughs> Man. Some great places. So, plans. What are my plans for upcoming videos? Um, a lot of you guys know that the snow is going away in my area. Sad to say. So, if you're if you're really here for the snow videos, I'm sorry, but they're coming to an end. <laughs> um. Okay, Jewel, once I, oh, I'm losing my train of thought here. I'm looking at your comments. Where do I get that type of coffee? I haven't seen this type of packaging here. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, in the States, I just went to my local uh, sporting goods store. And I just randomly saw it there. But I believe you can get this on Amazon. So just look up Kuju Coffee, um, single use, I don't know, pour over coffee. Yeah, just look that up. And you should be able to find it on Amazon if, and get it in your area, I believe. Uh, this one has an oak chocolate honey flavor. <laughs> I don't know if it's focusing. So yeah, I hope that helps. Um, your best bet is to just check online and kind of look for that, I guess. Good morning from France. You got your coffee? Cheers. Oh, that's good. Oh, it tastes so good. Oh, nice and warm. Uh, it's 43 degrees in here, Fahrenheit. Feels good. So, like I was saying, Um, videos, where am I going? Um, most of the time I would go up North about two hours and I'd get into the snow. Uh, a lot of the snow is already melting. So the snow videos are kind of coming to an end. I know a lot of you guys have uh, subscribed and you just really want to watch the, the snow videos. Um, I still wanted to get up to one of the mountains here in, in Washington state. I wanted to head up to, uh, Mount Rainier. I don't know how much time I have left, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna still try to get up there and go camp on that mountain and uh, do a video up there. So I can't say that all the snow is gone yet, um, or that I won't have another snow video. But things have definitely changed, and I'm trying to think of ideas, um, places to go, things that you guys want to see, um, because I did, I just want you guys to. <laughs> find something interesting. Uh, I know the snow is very interesting to see, especially if you don't live around the snow. But I, I have some plans. Um, in the last video, I had... Where did I go in the last video? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> um, no, not that video. Uh, the one that I went to the abandoned farm. I had that little e-scooter and uh, 
something that I wanted to do is maybe just get on that e-scooter with a backpack and head out into the woods and see how far I can go. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of sounds dumb, but I think it would be fun. Maybe you guys would like that. I don't know. Um, I also have the e-bike, so I plan on doing some e-biking. Uh, I have a new tent that you guys haven't seen yet for the e-bike. And uh, it's kind of like a mor motorcycle tent. So it's very big. And I can put the bike inside. Uh, so if I have bad weather or whatever, I can uh, kind of hunker down. So that's some of the things coming up. Um, I have a weird idea. I Maybe you guys will like it. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. Um, but I think it'll be kind of cool. <laughs> we'll see though. Uh, I'll catch up with your comments real quick. Oh man, I'd love to go to Texas. I went to Texas once. I went to Corpus Christi, Texas. And that was, I think, probably the first time I ever went into the ocean. <laughs> what a uh, surprise that was for a little kid. <laughs> Don't realize how salty it is. But I had a good time in Texas. I, I haven't been back since. We got a super chat. How do I how do I put that up? Wow, thank you so much. Javin. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Thank you so much. I love your videos. Here is some gas money to keep those videos coming. God bless. Thank you so much. Uh that is that is that's too kind. It really is. Um, I just can't thank you enough. <laughs> Me and the family can't thank you enough. Um, I know that a lot of people right now with the gas prices all over the world, I'm sure are a little, little high. Um, I don't even like thinking about all that stuff, but, uh, I don't know. Tell me what your gas prices are, wherever you're at. <laughs> I paid. Now get this. I don't want to get into pol politics or anything, but we could talk about the gas prices, I guess. I paid $3.29 today for gas. Now that's really good. Really good because I got a dollar off. <laughs> it was $4.29 in Washington state. And uh, I got a dollar off because I shop at Safeway. <laughs> and uh, we saved some bun a bunch of money. <laughs> Three, five dollars. Oh, and a leg and an arm. <laughs> oh, wow. Six bucks. Dana, that hurts. Oh, man, alive. Hello, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Oh, man. You guys, 417. Wow. Am I, the, am I the highest? No, 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 Dana. You got it. I think six bucks is the highest so far. Wow. That's expensive. Oh, hello from India. Thank you so much for showing up. Um, I know that I'm kind of all over the place, you guys. Uh, that's just how I think <laughs> and operate. <laughs> uh, thought about, oh, okay. Chad, getting back to some of your guys' comments. Chad, what's going on, brother? Uh, hey, Kenny, thanks for the videos. Have you thought about doing a kayak camping trip? I do not currently have a kayak, but I do have a canoe. I have a very large canoe that I can't physically lift onto my vehicle because it's so big and heavy and awkward. It's like 17 feet long, uh, 80 to 90 pounds. And I'm not tall enough to put it over my big car. Um, but I have done some ca uh, canoe camping. And I plan on doing more. Um, I, I have some ideas. I have some good ideas. At least I think they're good ideas. <laughs> uh, I want to do some multi-day trips. Um, there's a couple of islands that I just re uh, recently discovered that I want to paddle out to. Uh, the water's just really cold right now because I've been itching to get out there, um, on, on the boat. Uh, but I'm looking, 
I'm looking to get another canoe or maybe even a kayak. Uh, I just recently saw, I think it was a, an Ascend kayak. I don't know. I think that's from like Cabela's or something like that. It looked like a good one. Um, if you guys know of some like what I should look for um, in a different type of boat, uh, a kayak, a canoe, I can't afford like a two or three thousand dollar canoe. But I was looking at the old town canoes and those look like something that I could actually get into. If any of you guys have any experience with that, um, let me know. Scrolling down, finding your comments. What? Another another chat or a super chat. Thank you so much. What's up, Chris? How are you doing? Thank you so much, man. That's just too generous of you guys. Um, it helps out. But don't feel like you have to do it. But I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you're doing well. You guys are just such huge supporters, all of you. Um, I can't thank you enough. Oh, coffee tastes good. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, wait. We, oh, some of you guys are still talking about gas prices. Okay. That's crazy. Hello from the Great Smoky Mountains. How are you? Jamie, good to see you. Thank you, Matt. Bless you as well. <laughs> you got, I'm trying to keep... I know it looks weird. I'm sitting here scrolling on the screen. I'm sorry. I got to figure out a better way of doing these live streams. I think the laptop was actually pretty easy. But I kind of had some trouble with the... Wi-Fi. Okay, what else can we talk about? Hello, Lily. Great name. That's my daughter's name. <laughs> Whoa, 620. Yep. That's very expensive. Very expensive. 675 too. Where? Whoa. Oh, okay. It's starting to get worked up here about gas prices. <laughs> Hello from Minnesota. Thank you so much. Becca and Jake. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm glad you could be here on a live stream. Um, just to catch any of you guys up that are just getting here. I obviously didn't make a video this week. Um, I had a family come into town. And I just hung out and really didn't plan anything. And sometimes the week just catches up to you. But we did do some scouting, some of the local areas. And I found some really cool places that I'm going to probably just hike into and, and do a little overnight camping. Um, a lot of the time, I, I kind of car camp. A lot of you guys know that. I do some car camping. But I'm going to try a little more bushcrafty stuff. You know, where you get out there and you don't have your wood that you bought. <laughs> but thank you for being here. Hello from Malaysia. Oh, that's awesome, Alvin. So glad to have you here. Hike with Mike. How you doing, Mike? Thanks for showing up. Okay. Let's see here. I don't know what else I clicked. So if you guys have any... uh comments uh, or questions of me. If you'd like to ask them, go ahead and I'll try to answer them. Uh, Sandra has been binge watching the videos. That's awesome. Um, I have been, I've been having a whole lot of fun uh, making these videos for you guys. Um, like I said, I, I keep just trying to, to make them a little bit different. Um, I don't want you to see the same thing every time. Um, to I don't know. I, I just don't want it to be very predictable. I don't want to be predictable where you guys are like, okay, well, I, here's what's going to happen next. I know what he's going to do. And in a way, it kind of is like that. Um, I don't know how to prevent that. You know, you, you show up at camp, you set up camp, uh, you cook dinner, you go to bed, you have a campfire, whatever. 
Um, that's just kind of how it goes <laughs> camping. Um, but I've been trying to just be a little less predictable and, in some of the things that I do, even if it's a little bit of comedy, which I know some of you guys enjoy that. And then some people are like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> but I got to keep it interesting for myself as well. Um, I, I want these, I don't want to get burned out and uh, just be doing the same thing over and over. So I, in a way it's, it's helpful for me to be innovative, I guess. Do river rafting. I, that kind of scares me. <laughs> I really am, I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to like fast moving water. Uh, I haven't really built up my tolerance to that. So I don't know, unless I was going with a guide, which obviously you probably would if you're doing river rafting uh, or whitewater river rafting, I should say. Um, I, I would try it, I guess, but it kind of, <laughs> one of my nervous factors is, is water and fast moving water. Um, that scares me. Okay. Mount Sport Air Guns is asking what people think of stealth camping. What do you guys think of stealth camping? Um, there's a lot of people on YouTube that do it. The biggest one would be Steve Wallace. And there's others that are are doing what Steve was doing. Which there's, there's so much drama within the YouTube realm sometimes. And it's just kind of silly. Um, not everybody's original. <laughs> uh we are, most of the things have already been done, but some people get to claim, I guess, what it is. But I don't know. I've never thought about doing stealth camping myself. <laughs> Go on two wheels. Yeah. I plan on doing some, uh, some bike camping or whatever you want to call that. Or even the e-scooter. Inflatable kayak, yes. Hello from Brooklyn, New York. Are you up late? <laughs> it is currently 9 o'clock uh, here in Washington State. And I'm chatting with you guys from around the world. That's cool. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hope you have a really good day today. You're all the way from Australia. That's awesome. Um, it's so cool to be able to kind of connect with all you other believers out there um, from around the world. Uh, it's just so cool to see that. Um, you know, a lot of this, a lot of the stuff uh, that I've been doing and, um, just trying to try and be an encouragement to a lot of you guys. Uh, I know that not everybody that watches my videos is a believer. Um, and that's okay. Uh, I just, I, I don't know. I just want to be an encouragement. And I found that so many of you guys are a blessing to me um, amongst all of it. I mean, it's not easy sometimes trying to do things that you know are right or being who you are. Um, a lot of people, are, it's not easy for them to share Jesus, you know, with others and especially live. And I'm here to tell you, I'm not ashamed of it. Um, it's what I'm supposed to do. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to preach it to you. I'm going to live it and I'm going to share it in the best way that I can. And the way that I feel that the Lord's going to lead me to, to share him with you guys, um, whether it's an encouragement or maybe you don't even go to church. And I know there's a lot of people on here. Um, that watch that have told me they've even told me that they don't believe, but they enjoy the videos. And that to me is it's an encouragement because there's a connection there somehow. And I don't know how the Lord's going to use it, but I pray that he will. And I I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm praying over these videos. <laughs> I want him to, to take it to wherever he wants it to go. And I just want to thank you for all of your guys' support. 
uh, it's not, it's not always easy, you know, being, uh, uh, out there and just kind of sharing your testimony or, or however you want to do it. But I encourage your guy, or I covet your guys' prayers and your encouragement to me, um, through it. So however the Lord uses this stuff, I'm just, I'm blessed beyond measures and to have all you guys as friends, uh, family really. Um, and it's just amazing. J-Dub. Thanks, brother. You need to collaborate with Luke Outdoor Boys. <laughs> yeah. Luke's really cool. Um, he's done some really cool stuff. Uh, man, I, I don't know if I could keep up with him, though. <laughs> he's he's way far ahead of me in this, uh, like, outdoor game. Way far ahead of me. I would be learning, I guess, all the time. <laughs> Thank you so much, though, uh, J-Dub, for the donation there. Okay, let's see here. What else we got? Have I thought about building a small cabin? Um, I have thought about building a small cabin. I'd have to do a lot of research, and it would take me a long time. So I don't know if that would be good for the channel in the sense that it would take me a long time to produce videos. Uh, but what I do have in mind is kind of a cabin that I'm, it's, it's really weird. I don't want to tell you guys just yet, um, but <laughs> it'll be kind of like a cabin, I think. Uh, it'll be unique. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and uh, once again, I'm going to try to surprise you guys. <laughs> All right, Fonzo, you got to have a talk with your dog. Uh, so now he's into a granola bar. <laughs> and now, I know that he, he got into some coffee too, right? <laughs> okay, so for the, cam for the game camera, do you use Wi-Fi from phone and do you need a signal or data for it to work? Um, the trail cam that I have, it's not a cellular uh, trail cam. It's just Wi-Fi. And I think I'm trying to understand your comment. Okay. So basically, it's just a Wi-Fi device. Um, I can set it up. Like, I think the way that it's supposed to be used is if you put that, your, your trail cam kind of up high in an area that's not really easily accessible, you can stand down like say if you got it up in a tree or something you can stand below and you can connect through the bluetooth which then connects wi-fi and you can look at all your videos um if you've cap captured anything and you can check it from there um but it's not a cellular device so you can't just go put it out in the woods and come home and and find it on your your phone or through the internet somehow i found it to be it's an okay trail cam. I almost am kind of curious if it's not a good one. And hear me out. That I, I feel like it doesn't work very well. Um, there's little infrared, like the little infrared lights that come on. And I thought that they were not supposed to be seen, but you can see them at night. And I don't know if that's just normal, but I feel like maybe it scares off the animals. I don't know. Or I'm just not putting that trail cam in the right spot, which we all know that. Um, <laughs> I use the trail cam really to just look at the tent um, and see if I if I hear anything out there. If anything, I can just pull up my phone and look at it and see if it's something I need to worry about. Uh, that was kind of an idea I got from uh, Alone, actually. I was watching Alone and I saw that they were using trail cams and I thought, well, I can do that. But my plan is to buy a better one. Uh, the Cam Park Trail Cams, they're, they're uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say they're the best at all. So uh, for what I'm using it for, it works great. But as far as, I don't know, <laughs> maybe I just need to take it out into the woods and really give it a good go, I guess, at capturing something. But um, I do plan on getting a second trail cam. So if any of you guys are familiar with hunting, because I'm not. Um, what, what trail cam should I get? 
what would be the best bang for the buck. Um, and I'll get a second one and I can put that out in the woods. Actually, last week we were hiking around and uh, I found this like den of something. I don't know what it is, but I plan on going back to that spot, putting my trail cam there and then camping in the area. And hopefully I'll finally catch something on the trail cam. <laughs> Jeremy says he likes my coffee mug. That's custom made by K Custom K Custom Tumblers. K's Custom Tumblers. So a lot of you guys are asking about this uh, mug and where you can get it. Currently, there's no really way of getting it other than contacting uh, Kayla and saying, hey, I want a bomb outdoor mug. But I haven't really... Uh, really got that in the works. <laughs> I don't know if she's okay with that, but there it is. I do plan on doing more merch. Um, same with hats, things like that. And you guys have seen some of that stuff that I put into uh, to one of my last live streams, I think, or videos. I can't remember. Um, I know I'm just blabbering on you guys. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay, catch up on your comments here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay. Love all your different meals you make. It's always interesting and delicious. Maybe try smoking something. That's a good idea. Um, in my other channel, so the other channel, a lot of you guys don't know this. Maybe you do. I've, I've said this before. I had a barbecue channel prior to this outdoor channel. And, uh, I did a lot of barbecuing, a lot of smoking things, uh, steaks, whatever ribs, you know, all that good stuff. And I made a video on that channel. I don't know how long it's been, it's been quite a while. And I smoked a pork butt and made a pulled pork sandwich on that video. And it was delicious. So I went out camping, uh, I went fishing, I did all that, but it's on the other channel. And I would like to pull it over to this or to this channel, but I can't because I use music that I don't have the rights to anymore. <laughs> so that that <clears throat> pardon me, that video is going to have to live over there on Bomb Grillins. And uh, yeah, it was a fun video. I'd like to share it with you guys. You'll have to just go find Bomb Grillins, uh, my other channel, and watch that if you want to see me smoke something. But. Uh, I could probably do it again. I definitely can do it again. Where did I buy my tent? Uh, are you talking about this tent? If so, this tent was actually gift, uh, gifted to me by, uh, what is it? I think this is Barrig. Um, anyways, a lot of these tents that I have, you guys, have been sponsored in a way. Uh, they've given it to me. I make videos about them, share them with you guys. And that's how I get a lot of my equipment. Not all of it. I bought in a lot of tents, but some of these bigger ones like this one's a very expensive tent. And I think a lot of you guys know that. Um, I can't always just go out there and buy some of these big tents. And uh, <laughs> I think the people that do send them out to me so I can share them with you guys um, to keep things interesting. <laughs> Andre, how you doing? Good to see you, brother. Glad to have you on. I feel like I'm really far, far up from your guys' comments, so <laughs> I'm really sorry. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to catch up. I'm really sorry if I'm missing your guys' comments. Um, my wife is in the chat. You can see her there, Shelby Bomb. Um, if you do have a question or anything that I don't answer, I'm hoping that sh maybe she will pop in and, and tell you <laughs> or help answer. <laughs> oh, that coffee is good. <laughs> okay, do I ever bring a pet with me? Um, I, I have a pet. 
a fake pet. So that's the only thing. Wiley is the only thing that usually goes with me, but I do have a little tiny dog and he's too old now. Um, he's really losing his sight and he's just, I don't know how much longer he's going to be around to be honest with you, but I, there is talks about getting another dog, uh, maybe a little bit bigger dog. And maybe I can train him to come with me out there into the woods because I know that that's a really good thing to have with you. Um, going out there solo. Uh, and if you have a pup with you, it can really help in as long as he's trained. Well, <laughs> I've seen some bad videos where people are <laughs> chasing their dogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do have pets. I, I have, I have my little dog and I've got two cats. Uh, I've got Vlad and uh, Joey. Did I say that correctly? No, no, I. <laughs> no, not Joey. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gracie. <laughs> so I've got two cats and a dog. The dog's name's Ramsey. He's a little tiny guy. He's just a real tiny dog. Uh, we, me and the Shelby got him basically when we first started dating. So he's been around 13, 14, 15 years. I can't remember now. He's old. And Gracie is our <laughs> their cat. I almost called her what, you know, every cat has a nickname or animal has a nickname. And Gracie's is Bitty Butt. <laughs> that's, that's our little Bitty Butt. <laughs> Okay, how did I come up with Wiley? A lot of you guys are probably wondering that. And uh, I know it's got to be kind of weird, especially if you're new to the channel. And all of a sudden you see this little hat come out of nowhere and like, I don't know, drag off a saw or something like that. <laughs> uh, Wiley came about because I went to an old trapper's cabin. <clears throat> Pardon me. Got to clear my throat. <clears> Just <throat> one second. So anyways, Wiley, he came out because I went to an old trapper's cabin and I just kind of bought him for the thumbnail, to be honest with you. I wanted to have like an old fur hat or something for the thumbnail for the trapper's cabin. So I went out, bought that, and all I was going to use him for was the thumbnail in that video. And somehow in my head, I just popped up, what if I acted like he was my dog? <laughs> I don't know. I, I've got some strange thoughts. So that's what I did. It just kind of worked into that for that video. And I used him, played around with him, had fun. And I thought that was going to be it. Um, but people kept asking for, where's Wiley? Where's Wiley? So he pops in once in a while. Now, not, not on every video, but once in a while, he's going to come out, kind of help me. I got a helicopter flying over. <laughs> <clears throat> so I know it's a little strange. It's a little weird, but that's me. I like to just have some fun. Uh, I'm sure down the road, as I mature even more, I'll go, why was I doing that? I don't know. I was really dumb. <laughs> so you'll have to forgive me and just kind of bear with my silliness uh, for the time. Yes, my last name is Baum, and it means tree in German. <clears throat> okay, what else do we got? Oh, yeah. Talking you know, politics and stuff. Oh boy. I'll have to start a whole new channel for that. <laughs> Hello, Vivian. Thanks for showing up from New York. Okay, what else we got here? Oh, interesting. Jada, 
That's very interesting. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Hello, Maria. Good to have you. Sorry, guys. I'm still looking at your comments here. Um, I don't know what else I can share with you guys. Um, Wiley is hilarious. <laughs> okay, so the last video. How, how do you guys feel about this? I don't know if I should tell you. I know, I, I know there's a lot of people that view the channel, um, and they're younger. So there's, there's a lot of kids that watch this too. Um, and <laughs> I think they like to see Wiley and I've had some ideas about Wiley, but I don't know. I'm trying to keep it, keep it good, you know, um, <laughs> what, I, what I was thinking about doing with Wiley, it's, I don't want to make anybody sad. So I, I, I don't know that I'll do an old yeller type thing, but I have some ideas. <laughs> he wouldn't die. I'll tell you that. Wiley wouldn't die. He just would go away for a while and then maybe I'd find him again. And maybe he'd, I don't know, he'd have a family. <laughs> oh. I do have allergies to trees, but it's usually if it's, it's like a skin irritation. So if I'm, it's kind of weird, like this doesn't bug me. It would be more like the bark kind of rubbing against my skin. And I don't know if maybe I've grown out of it, but I used to have terrible allergies and they were all tree allergies, uh, growing up and it was bad. Um, I think they've definitely calmed down, but touching wood like this. I know some of you guys might have sounded weird. I was like, I'm allergic to trees. And then here I am sitting on a tree and I'm carving stuff. Um, it, it was more of like a skin irritation on like bark and also like pollen. So a lot of people have that, but touching this isn't going to affect me. <laughs> Hello, Heather. Good to have you here. If any of you guys didn't see my spoon yet, I just I'll show you that. <laughs> my first spoon that I've ever carved. Very cool. It was a lot of fun. Hello from the United Arab Emirates. Wow. I don't coffee, tea. I don't know what you're drinking, but here's to you. Oh, that's good coffee. I'm I'm gonna run out. It's already cooling off. Okay. Let's see. What else are you guys talking about? It's okay. Okay. Let's see. Your greetings from Romania. Thank you guys for showing up from all over the world. What is the weather there now? Right now, we are inside my tent. I'm sitting at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering what this is. This is a thermo drop from Thermoworks. It's gone up because I touched it. But this thing's really nice. Um, even has a backlight. Works really well for just kind of carrying around checking the temp but it is yeah like i said inside the tent it's 40 degrees and we've we've had such a strange weather today in washington state where i'm at uh we had blue skies clouds rain snow <laughs> um it was really really weird but it's definitely warming up Hello, Debbie. Thanks so, so much for showing up. You're new to the channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for being here.
<laughs> when is the next family camping trip? Um, I really have to plan those uh, because the wife, uh, she needs she needs to have internet uh, every night. Um, she does uh, voiceovers online. So wherever she's at, or wherever we're camping, we've got to have Wi-Fi signal or at least a uh, uh, phone, phone signal, I should say, and internet. So I've got to scout out each location that we want to go family camping and uh, make sure that we can actually have internet access so she can work at night uh, because it's a 24 hour or 24 seven gig, I guess I should say for her. Um, so, but I want to take just the kids and me too. Uh, so we'll, we'll be doing that now that it's springtime, uh, spring break. I might just have to go do that maybe in the next couple of videos, take the kids out, do some camping, um, and just have a good time with them. Um, and as long as the wife feels okay with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's going to be some more family camp. And I know a lot of you guys like that stuff. And we'll find some really cool locations. Uh, it's kind of surprising, actually, once you get out there, how far cell coverage is. Uh, I mean, I've, I've been into places where I thought, there's no way I'll have a signal out here. And yeah, you have a signal. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah wiley would live on oh you know, actually you know what i want to carve a wiley you think i could carve one maybe that'll be something i do i'll carve a wiley he could be a he could be like a wiley cup but he'd be upside down that'd be kind of weird <laughs> now i'm now i'm starting to think what could i carve i could carve a wiley like figurine or I could carve a, a cup out of Wiley. That would be really weird, but <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Wiley will always be around. He just might, he might get lost sometime. And then I come back the next video and find him. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you're in Texas. It's very windy. Uh, yes, Wiley is a coyote. He's a Kylo, coyote hat. Uh, he's not a real one. He's a fake one, but he's cool. I like him. Okay, so how do we fit in voice work to do camping? Um, I think in the last family video that we did, uh, hopefully you guys can hear me with the train. Um, basically what happened is, is we can operate from anywhere, as long as we've got internet. Uh, so if we've got cell coverage, um, you can get the job on your phone through Fiverr. So we work on Fiverr, if anybody wants to know. And uh, you get your script, and then you just got to have your microphone, your, your laptop, and your audio interface. And so what we did in the last video, or the last time we went camping, is we have the car set up. So, so my wife will sit in the car, We've got the microphone stand inside the car, inside this foam, like, uh, uh, booth, I guess you could call it. it. It goes over the top of the microphone and she just sets it up there and speaks the script and, uh, edits it, edits it on her computer and sends it off. So it's pretty cool that you can do that. So, I mean, even, even though she works a lot, cause it's every night you've got to do this job. Um, but uh, we can kind of go wherever we want to go as long as we have internet. So that's kind of cool about it. <clears throat> Hello from Illinois. I'm doing well. How are you? What time is it? <laughs> oh, you've been Ron Wiley. <laughs> you've been Wiley Kyle all your life. I'm sorry. Or maybe you like that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't keep up with all the comments. <clears throat> hey, Wolfgang, how are you doing? Um, 
I'm kind of far up on the chat right now talking to you guys and answering your, your comments. Um, but hopefully you're still around, Wolfgang. It's great to see you or hear you here. Okay, I'm scrolling down. <laughs> okay. Have I ever encountered a bear? No, not yet. But I know the more I do this, the more likelihood I'm going to encounter a bear. <laughs> so I do have uh, protection with me when I go out. Um, I have bear spray. I typically have a horn, like an air horn. And then I have a sidearm with me. Um, and that's kind of just the progression. You know, you want to make yourself known that you're there. You're a human. Make some noise. Uh, and then the bear spray and the, the sidearm kind of go hand in hand, in my opinion. Uh, maybe you spray if that don't stop them and you're getting mauled, then you're going to have to protect yourself, right? So it, not that I don't want to kill a bear, but I also want to go home. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm very cautious when I'm out in the woods. At least I like to think that I am. Um, that's one of the things that really really gets people frightened is the things in the woods. And I tell you what, the first time I really started doing this, um, it's taken a little while to kind of get used to it, but it was every noise that you hear, oh, that's a bear <laughs> or that's a cougar or <laughs> whatever that is out there. It's going to kill me. <laughs> so it's not that I'm used to it. And I know that one day I'm going to run into a bear. I know I am. It's just going to take some time. And I pray that if it's, if it's my time to go and the bear's coming at me and he's going to take me home, then I pray it's quick. <laughs> but if the Lord's going to protect me from the bear, he's going to protect me from the bear. And what is that? David, I think in the Bible, he, uh, he killed a bear with his bare hands. So if he can do it, then by all means, by the power of the Lord, I can kill a bear with my bare hands. <laughs> if that's what he wants to happen. <laughs> How did I get into that? Okay. <laughs> okay. How did we get into voice work? Okay. I think I talked about this in one of my videos. Uh, like one of my earlier videos. Um, basically... I've gone through, I don't know how many different jobs I've, I've worked at so many different places and I've always been laid off. Um, but I was working at a place and I was also doing the YouTube channel. So I, I was working and doing the YouTube channel and for the YouTube channel, I decided that I needed a microphone so that I could do voiceovers for my cooking videos. So I talked the wife into getting the nice microphone. You know, I was like, I need to get the nice microphone and the audio interface and all that uh, so that it'll sound good. But also we can maybe make money doing it or using the microphone is what I told her. So long story short, I was laid off from that job and I told her, let's let's try the voiceover thing. So we did. We set up our little accounts and and went from there. And that's kind of how we got into the voiceover work hey wolfgang so you're having your first cup of coffee here i'm having one with you how cool is that you're in germany i'm here in the states of in the state of washington having a cup of coffee with you <laughs> okay Uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you know what? I mean, most of the time your bear encounters are going to be just that. You're going to see it. It's going to see you. It's going to know you're a human and it's going to run away. Uh, the time that you have attacks, I think a lot of you guys know this, is if you startle them or if they've got their cubs with them. Uh, you don't want to run into a mama bear with their cubs. And actually right now is that time, that time of year uh, where the bears are coming out 
of hibernation, uh, at least maybe in our area. And they're going to have their cubs or whatever. And you don't want to run into them. So make a lot of noise while you're out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good, good call. Thank you so much. Vancouver Island Outdoors. Um, I'm going to have to check out your channel. Are you, uh, are you in my area? <laughs> Actually, that probably wouldn't be, would it? Where, where, where are you located? <laughs> okay. Hello from Indonesia. It's good to see you. Thank you so much for showing up to the live stream. <laughs> Get some firecrackers, yeah. Okay, I do need to do more painting. Do you guys like to see that? Um, I've, uh, man, I, I get on these kicks. I'm kind of one of those people that uh, I get so interested in something and I'll go out there and I'll try it and I'll do it for a little while and then I'll get interested in something else. Um, the painting, I went and bought all the painting stuff and I did some paintings and I had fun with it and then I got distracted and I haven't done it again. So I will. I did have the painting kit with me in the last trip. I just didn't get it out um, because it got really windy, really windy at the, in the morning. Um, so I didn't have time to actually paint, but I will do some more painting. Uh, all that stuff will come around uh, as I remember to do it. So if that's something you guys like to see, uh, then I'll do more painting. Uh, even if it's just of the trees or something. Amen. All right. Reading your comments here. Keeping up with you guys. Drop the questions down if, if there's anything you want to know about me. Um, go ahead and drop those comments. The wind's picking up a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I showed you guys my little table here. So there's my table and my lamp. And I know some of you guys have seen this already. I've got my power supply in the back there to charge it or to power it up, I should say. And then I've got this little blue light here for accents, which some of you guys saw this light in uh the last snow video that i did it does so many random things it's just fun to play with <laughs> let's see if i can remember how to do it okay so there's candle let's see okay all right party mode we're in party mode now <laughs> oh yeah All right, back to you guys' comments. <laughs> okay, do another overnight in the cabin. What kind of, um, just any cabin? Um, are you thinking, I don't know, if you guys like to see uh, some of the same places twice, I don't know if you guys like that. Um, I'm always kind of uh, looking for different places. But I don't think that means I can't go back to another place, right? I mean, as long as the thumbnail is a little different and <laughs> uh, I always rule it out. I'm like, oh, no, I already went there, so I can't go there again. Well, I don't think that's true. So if you guys don't mind seeing some of those cabins that I've been to already um, and seeing them again, then I'll do it. Like, especially uh, the last cabin that I was at with the snow, I feel like in the summertime or even right now, it's going to be different, but man, there's going to be a lot of bugs. 
But if that's okay with you guys, I'll go back to some of those places. But I do have uh, some more cabins in mind. Um, what I do when I, I look for things is I look on uh, recreation.gov. Uh, some of you guys have heard me talk about that before. And recreation.gov, you can search for lighthouses. Not lighthouses. Maybe there are lighthouses. Maybe there are. Maybe I should try to camp in a lighthouse. <laughs> uh, fire lookouts. You have fire lookouts, um, cabins, yurts. Um, what else? There's all types of places you can look at recreation.gov. And uh, I usually search in my location in my area, but I've started to broaden it out a little more throughout the, the country and uh, finding places. But it's really hard to book some of them, uh, especially them uh, fire lookouts. There, you got to get there quick, um, or you're always constantly looking at them, so you can see if somebody kind of backed out of their reservation. Uh, but yeah, I'll I'll be finding more cabins, um, and more more remote places like that that I've got to hike into. So I will do that. I will definitely do that. All right. I do. I have fun with the meals. Sometimes they're a little crazy and it kind of, <laughs> it makes a lot of work, you guys. Um, but I'm glad you guys appreciate them. Um, also, I've talked about maybe possibly making an email address that you guys can send recipes to. So if there's like a certain dish that you want me to try, uh, since a lot of you guys from are from around the world, if you've got a recipe and you want to send it to me and I try it on video... Uh, I think that'd be a really cool thing because uh, there's a lot of foods out there that I've never tried. Um, I'm not huge on seafood, but I'm willing to try it. <laughs> uh, I don't really like fish, but I try it. Um, and uh, I'm willing to try just about anything. So maybe I'll do that. I'll set up an email address. And I've talked about this before that you guys can send specific like, okay, I want him to try this dish and you kind of send me the recipe or a link to it. Uh, if that's a good idea, just let me know. How old am I? How old do you guys think I am? <laughs> I don't know if I'm an old YouTuber. Definitely there's people older than me out there. How long have I been doing the outdoors thing? Oh, boy. Um... Well, I mean, really, honestly, I mean, I've gone camping a lot with my family as a kid, uh, but we didn't really do a lot of tent camping. We did mostly like uh, trailer camping and stuff like that. Um, and then I was in the military and we didn't do a whole lot of camping there either, but we did some outdoor stuff. Um, but really, honestly, this is kind of it. I'm, I'm not... I'm not like a professional outdoorsman. I'll tell you that right now. And a lot of you guys know that already. Um, I keep it simple. I like to just camp outside. I'm not a bush crafty guy. I'm not the guy that's going to teach you knots or how to survive off of <laughs> plants or anything like that. Uh, I just enjoy getting outside and I've really found a love for tents, which is weird, but there's so many unique tents out there that I was like, man, I, I want to stay in that tent. I want to try that tent. I want to find the perfect tent. So I've really just started this within the last couple of years. Um, or I should say year. I really haven't been doing this channel for very long. Um, and I want to say the first video, first couple of videos was some of my first solo camping. Um, even though it might not seem like it, maybe I, maybe I acted brave or something. I don't know. <laughs> Do a coastal camping trip. That would be fun. Um, and I can. There's some places here in Washington that I should be able to go over there and camp with all the proper, like, there's so many different uh, uh, rules and stuff and things you got to have or passes you got to buy. Ugh. How long does it take to charge the power supply? Um, 
I want to say three hours, like when it's plugged in at home. I think it's around three hours. And then it does come with a, uh, um, a solar charger. And I think that would probably do it in about the same if you were pulling in around 90 watts or so. Uh, I think around three hours. I'm not 100% sure though. Not too bad. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm trying to do, I don't know. What What do you guys think of, uh, I know that talking in the video, I think it's personable. You know, I like to be able to talk to you guys, interact with you guys. Um, so I really don't think I'll ever do ASMR. I know a lot of people like that though. They like the kind of calming like, Go out, camp, watch a guy camp, hear the rain, hear the snow, see the snow, you know, the wind, whatever it is, um, and just kind of film nature stuff. I don't know if you guys would ever want me to do that, or you always want me to talk within the video. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, kind of, I guess I'm asking you guys, would you guys ever want me to do an ASMR video? Um Sometimes I feel like that would be easy because you don't have to say anything. You just show what you're doing. But I like to talk to you guys and a lot of you guys like hearing me talk, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I know there's a lot of people out, out there that just tell me to quiet. You talk too much. I just want to hear the rain. <laughs> uh. Thank you, Shirley. Thank you for your encouragement. Um, also, one thing I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, I've had some people kind of, I don't, I don't want to say you guys get upset if I don't pray or if I don't pray out loud. Um, I have to tell you that I'm always praying over my meal. Um, even if you guys don't hear me pray out loud, uh, I just, I hope you guys understand that sometimes a prayer can be very personable, you know, and I don't, I don't feel like I have to share it or I should have to share it with you guys. And I think you guys understand that. Um, so usually in the video, I might not pray out loud, uh, but you'll see me with my head bowed and just know that I'm still praying. Uh, it might be just something that's on my heart or, or whatever it is. And I think most of you guys understand that, but if you guys don't hear me pray out loud, but you, you see my head bowed, just know that it, I'm praying still. I'm praying for whatever it is. And uh, some things need to just be private. And I think you guys understand that. Uh, but I know that there's been some people that are like, hey, you didn't pray. Hey, you didn't do this or that. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, but just know, just know that I am praying. I don't know why I had to say that, but I just, I know I've had comments tell me, that I didn't pray out loud. And that's like, well, sometimes I'll pray out loud for my dinner and not for my breakfast, but then sometimes I'll pray out loud for my breakfast and not for my dinner. <laughs> I know it's weird, but. Amy, I am a great fan of your channel at 72. I tent cam, but must have the comforts and security of the developed campsites. I live in New Mexico, but have camped up and down the West Coast three times. Wow, that is so cool. Um, I like having the campsites. I don't mind having a, you know, a, a tent or I mean a tent spot, um, a picnic table, a fire pit. I don't mind that at all. Um, the hard part for me though is that i'm usually filming so i can't really be in an area that's public with a whole lot of people screaming and yelling or playing music <laughs> so i like to camp in public camp spots but uh filming it makes it more difficult um but in the in the time of the year right now for me there's like nobody out there camping it's cold it's snowy nobody wants that uh summertime that's when more people are out there camping in the public campgrounds and uh, if I can find one that's nice and quiet, I have no problem camping in a public campground at all. 
It's just usually there's a lot of people talking. <laughs> yes, Andre, we're praying for your country, brother. Everybody over there being affected by what's going on in the world. I mean, it's crazy. But it's the sign of the times, I tell you. It really is. It's the sign of the times, and we're just praying for for the Lord's return, really. I mean, it's coming. <laughs> just trying to get ready for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. A lot of you guys like the idea of camping in the fire lookouts and the island camping. All right, I'll do that. And then overnight, uh, I do want to do some multi-day trips too. So a couple days. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm really far up on your, your comments. Okay, I'm getting into the... Uh, <laughs> I'm finally getting into how old I am. 35, 32... You have young children, so I'd say early 30s, 32, 35, 35, 27, 27, yeah, <laughs> 37. Yep, Andre, you got it. I'm 37. I am 37 years old. And I went roller skating today at the, the roller skating rink. <laughs> I actually, I think I fared better than the rest of them. My kids, it was the first time my kids have ever been to a roller skating rink. And, you know, being an 80s kid or 90s kid, I should say, that's like where we lived. We went to the roller rink like all the time. And uh, the place has not changed. I tell you what, that roller rink is probably the same that it was back in the 90s. <laughs> but uh, my my poor boy and my poor daughter, they both, they, they ate it quite a few times. And my son, he kind of hurt his wrist a little bit, but he'll be okay. Oh, the t-shirts. Wiley t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so you guys do like the talking. You like the ASMR. Oh, I don't know if this is a little too much for you guys. <laughs> Party mode. Pulsing, stroke. Nope, we don't want to... There, we'll go with that. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so Shelby just said that uh, she put up a, uh, she made an, a recipe email so if you guys want to see a recipe that you guys know about or that you've created and you want to see me try it or try to cook it send it over to bomb outdoors recipes at gmail.com uh, we'll go with that and i'll talk about it more in another another time all right we got another super chat thank you so much greetings from alaska Appreciate the videos. What are some of your wish list items for camping? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, thank you so much. That's really generous of you. Uh, I can't thank you enough. It really does help support the channel and the family. And uh, I just thank you for that. What are some of my wish list items for camping? Oh boy. Man, I don't really know. I've got so much stuff already. Um, I just recently, one of my wish list items that I just recent, recently purchased was a new uh, mattress. So a little mattress pad. So that was my latest thing that I really wanted. Um, and I picked that up. It's a Sea to Summit. Like it's one of the nicest pads that I've ever slept on. And I tell you, I tell you what, I, 
I've slept really well. <laughs> the last couple of nights of camping have been some of the best because of that sleeping pad. And uh, that's one of the things that I was wishing for. I don't know what's on my radar now. Um, I've got some ideas that I want to do, but I can't tell you guys just yet. But you guys will see them. They'll come up. So thank you so much for the super chat. That's awesome. Thank you. Hope you're doing well in Alaska. You still got a lot of snow up there? Hi, Gina. How are you? Hope you're having a fantastic day or night, wherever you're at. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> Okay, so I'll I'll try to do some more catch and cooks and uh, and things like that. I don't know if the stranger guy will come by, but if you guys also like uh, catch and cooks and things like that, I'm not the best of a fisherman, but I'll try my best to catch one. Oh, you you found me because of Far North Bushcraft. What a great channel that guy. Uh, Lonnie, I think his name's Lonnie, Lonnie. And is it Connie? <laughs> uh, great, great people. Uh, that's a great channel too. If you guys want to watch him too, go check out far North bushcraft. Uh, he's got some great stuff. I think he's up in Alaska as well. Hello from Texas. Love your videos. When's the next adventure coming out? Um, so I'll probably be heading out next week. And uh, so the video will be out next weekend. I'm really sorry, you guys. No video this weekend. Uh, I'm just doing the live stream. Um, I had family coming to town. Some of you have already heard that. And I hope that uh, that's okay. But next week, um, I'll try to, I'll, I'll definitely be camping next week. And I'll have a video. Now, one thing I started thinking about too was what if I did sort of like an ASMR video um, and I did some whittling or carving. So maybe I put out two different videos. So hear me out. Maybe I go camping and I whittle something, maybe a spoon or whatever I can figure out that I can carve. And... For that camping video, I still have the carving in it, but I don't show the whole thing. And then I show more detailed carving and just kind of different angle shots and stuff like that and post that video as well. Does that sound like a good idea? Bad idea? Start a new channel for that? <laughs> I don't know. I have so many ideas and I'm just so sporadic that uh, it's hard to kind of keep up with my thoughts. So <laughs> maybe some of you guys know what I'm talking about. You spam for fishing. I heard that. <laughs> it sounds like a good idea. I bet it works really well. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to try it. So thank you for that. Have I had animals cross in front of my trail cam? Not yet. Um, but I'm, I'm really, I'm starting to kind of key in for that. Like I'm going to start, start aiming in to finding an animal, even because I told you guys earlier that I found a den of some sort. So I'm just going to go out there, go camping, put my trail cam by the den and see if something pops up. Um, that's the best I can do. <laughs> Hello from Oklahoma. How are you? Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm sorry, guys. I'm still trying to keep up with your guys' comments, and I'm way behind. Okay, what's my cooking channel? It's uh, Bomb Grillins. So it's basically uh, just look up Bomb, like grilling, on YouTube, and you should be able to find it. It's like... Kind of like this logo, but with a uh, 
a barbecue with flame on top. I don't have anything to share or show you guys. It's bomb grillings. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Good night. I hope you're uh, you're heading to bed. <laughs> All right. Let's see if there's any more questions. Uh, I'm not far from any city or town, really. Uh, we kind of live out in the country, but I'm not terribly far. <laughs> Oregon, welcome to the live stream. Hope everything, the last time, I was just in Oregon not too long ago. About, well, I should say about three months. Three months ago, maybe. Astoria. I don't know where Albany, Oregon is, but I was up in Astoria and that was pretty. That was a pretty place. Okay, so Shelby shared uh, the channel link for Bomb Grillin's Barbecue. You guys want to check that out? I've got all types of videos. I don't know. Uh, I kind of started to go from, you can kind of see how the channel progressed. Like, once again, it was a, a channel that I started because I wanted to learn about grilling. So once again, I wasn't like a pro <laughs> at grilling or barbecue. And uh, I, as I progressed, I got better. And then I kind of morphed into more like adventure cooks is what I called it. And it was kind of a key term. And uh, so... I would kind of go out camping and cook at the same time. And that's kind of how I morphed into this channel is I started to do more outdoor stuff and it kind of didn't make sense for the grilling channel. So you'll kind of see that on that, on the grilling channel is that there are some outdoor stuff. Um, there's even a cabin video that I went camping, had to hike like three miles to get to. And that was fun. But also, you guys are going to see some silly stuff on Bomb Grillings. <laughs> uh, there's kind of a second character that kind of pops up. And I don't know if I'm embarrassed by it. Maybe that's why I haven't done it again. <laughs> Sometimes I get a little crazy, but it, I don't know. You guys will see. <laughs> You'll see. Oh, somebody having a surgery. So I just want to... Somebody's having a surgery in there. I pray for you. Uh, trying to find the comment. We'll pray for your safety and whoever's doing the surgery. We pray for their hands. Pray that the whatever goes on will you'll be in the Lord's hands. That's for sure. Okay, besides where you live and area around where you camp, what would be your dream camp state or area in the world? Uh, man. Well, since I'm on the... So I'm in Washington State. Um, there's so much that I haven't explored over on the coast. Um, so the, a lot of that I want to go over there and explore because it just is so pretty over there. But also kind of on the East Coast, uh, there's so many cool uh, places to canoe, um, even up in Canada. Um, Algonquin, I think it's Algonquin, uh, the Ad Iron, Ad Iron Dax, I don't know how to say it, um, up there in New York. Um, so, I mean, I wouldn't mind going to those places and checking those places out. Uh, but I, like I said, I still haven't even explored my own state fully there's so much to still see um so washington state is full of all types of stuff but we'll see i don't know if i'll ever get over to the east coast
Uh, okay, what advice do I have for somebody that wants to start camping? Who? I don't know. Just get out there and do it. Uh, make sure you know where you're going. Let other people know where you're going. And go camp. Have fun. Um, maybe if it's your first time camping, I would definitely suggest going to a public campground. Um, it's just safer that way. Uh, in some places, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's not safe. <laughs> Uh, depends on where you live. Uh, being in New York City, I'm not sure. But if you can find a public campground, uh, just get in your car, bring your tent, uh, pack your cooler full of food, and just go camp in a public campground somewhere that uh, you feel safe in. And I, I don't know really what else to say, how to start or feel better about it. But the more you do it, the better it gets. Uh the more you learn, the more things you buy. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if you're ready for that, but there's so much camping gear out there. Um, but I would say your sleeping pad is your most important thing if you want a good night's sleep. And that's what I found out. Um, as far as noises go and stuff like that, you're just going to have to get used to that if that's something that scares you out in the woods. Um, but I don't know if that's, I, I don't know if that helps at all. <laughs> I'm sorry if it doesn't. Hello from South Texas. By the border. Cookout. Do some cookout steaks, fajitas, and what seasoning you use. Oh. Yeah, I could talk about some of the seasonings, seasonings and stuff I use. I don't know. I, every recipe is a little bit different. And I usually pack the cooler or whatever I'm bringing with something different every time. Um, so, yeah, I could talk about that stuff. <laughs> huh. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Hope you're doing good. Insulated tents. Um, so when when you talk about insulated tents, are you talking about like what you would think of like an ice shelter, like an ice tent or like a pop-up tent? Um, I've seen those. I haven't got one yet. But I do have an insulated tent from Krua, which is a really good tent. Um, they have this like inner tent. And I'm sure maybe if you just look through my uh, my videos, you'll find it. It's uh, the Krua Insulated Tent. And it's really nice. Uh, I was surprised at how well it works. Uh, it's heavy. So you want to use it like car camping or maybe if you got a canoe um, or some sort of transportation or something like that. You can't pack it out there. <laughs> you just can't. But I, I do have... Uh, have an insulated tent. Lisa. Good to see you. Uh, hey, Kenny, I just found out you were having a live. Sorry to be late to the party. Well, I'm glad you found out. Uh, it kind of is one of those things that, that YouTube doesn't really send out notifications all the time. Um, it's just kind of what it is. I'm sorry that you're just now finding it, uh, but I'm glad you're here. Hope things are well where you're at. Uh, it's probably, what, same time as me? 10 o'clock? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, Mount Baker. No, I haven't. I want to go out there, though. Mount Baker... Um, man, what is it? Is it, uh, North Cascade Highway? Is that kind of up there? I can't remember. Um, I've seen Mount Baker, I believe. Maybe I didn't though. It could have been Glacier Peak or something like that. Um, but I want to get over there on the, on the West side and I want to check out some of those places. Uh, it's just, there's, there's some beautiful country here in Washington. Washington state is kind of a strange one. 
Um, on the east side, you've got trees kind of close where you're close to Idaho. You've got trees, you've got mountains. Um, you've got some beautiful places over here. And as you go towards the center of Washington, it kind of turns into a desert. So if you're new to coming to like Washington and you go like central Washington, you're going to think this place is ugly. I'll tell you that. Um, but then once you get over to the uh, other side of the state, once you cross over the, um, the mountains, then it's beautiful again. And that's where I want to head. I want to head over there. Like I said, I want to go to Mount Rainier. I want to camp on there. Um, I don't know if that's going to be something I do within the next couple of videos, but maybe I will. But I want to go see Mount Baker as well. Okay. Okay, that's an interesting question. Do you think that it's easy for us who live in Middle East countries where the temperature is 50 C in the summer and 14 in the winter? I don't know those temperatures as far as uh, Fahrenheit, but I'm assuming that's hot, <laughs> very hot. Uh, to stay cold, okay. I don't know if it would be easy for you, but I can tell you that I'm sure you want to probably go winter camping. And that's probably what you're thinking. Uh, go see the snow for the first time. Um, I don't think you'd have any problem going from a hot place and coming to the snow that's cold as long as you have proper equipment. So make sure you got a nice coat, some nice pants, some like snow pants, snow coat, snow boots. Uh, you can bundle up really well. And you can enjoy the snow. It's not as cold as you would think it is, but I don't really know because I'm kind of used to it. <laughs> um, I can be out in, I don't know, a t-shirt sometimes, even in some of my videos. It's like, why is he in a t-shirt? It looks like it's cold out there. I run very warm. My body wa runs very warm and uh, kind of have to be careful with that, to be honest. But I'm kind of used to it. But I think that if if you came from the Middle East and came to where it's snowy, you could you could handle it. I think you'd be fine. Get a nice coat. <laughs> oh, Arctic polar bears. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's I've never seen one of them. Hi, uh, Manjit Bajwa. I'm not sure if that's how you say your name, but I want to say hello to you. You're from India, but you're living in Italy. I'd love to go to Italy one day. Hicks Adventures. Hello from Alabama. Thanks for showing up. Man, you guys, it's late. What time is it where you guys are? <laughs> it's 10 o'clock right now. Use hot dogs for fishing. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to think, what else can we talk about, you guys? What else has been happening? Hmm. <laughs> do, 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 do. Sorry, guys. I'm just reading your comments and trying to catch up. I know it's a little boring. It's one o'clock here in Florida. Wow. Eleven ten in Alberta. Oh, okay. You grew up in the New Orleans, in New Orleans, went to boot camp in Great Lakes, Illinois in January. It was so cold there. I didn't like it, but I'm a warm person also. That was just cold. <laughs> I went to New Orleans once. 
Um, and I went there for the military when uh, Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina hit. So that was my experience. And guess what? It's humid. <laughs> I sweated so bad. That was my first time ever being in a place so humid that after you showered and left, you were already sweaty and you felt like you needed a shower again. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, it's, it is very interesting to think about how we adapt to our locations. Um, you know, like some people have no problem with the snow. It's not cold to them at all. But the heat or the humidity is going to kill them. <laughs> Nine AM in Dubai. Wow. Huh, I don't know. Am I gonna sell a seasoning blend? I don't know, maybe. I'm I'm really terrible at this merch stuff, guys. I really am. I'm trying to uh figure it all out. Um I'm having a hard time figuring out who to go with. Um I've 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 made some designs. And I've printed some shirts. But I just don't know. Like, I feel bad. Like, if I were to buy that, like you guys, if you guys were to buy my merch, I want it to be the best that it can be. And being that I'm a smaller YouTuber, uh, I can use these normal sites that a lot of the YouTubers use. But I just don't know if I like the quality. I'm just not sure if I like it. So... I'm having a hard time figuring out merch, to be honest with you. I've got the designs down, um, and I've been to a couple of different websites, and I've gotten a couple of shirts from them. Um, but I'm still narrowing down who it is that I want to go with. Uh, as far as hats go, that's a harder one for me. Uh, the hat, I have to actually like buy a lot of these, like say 20 of them. And then I'd have to ship them off to you guys. I can't just like design it and put it on a website like you can with the shirts. So it makes it more difficult for me to get a hat. Um, and I know a lot of you guys want hats. I mean, that's what I like when I come to merch and stuff. It's like a hat. I want a hat. So I'm trying to figure it all out. And uh, I'll I'll keep, I guess, ticking at it. But um Hopefully, I'll hopefully you guys, if it is something you guys want, hope you can be patient with me with the uh, merch. I don't know if I'll have a seasoning blend, really, uh, but maybe you never know. You never know. <clears throat> Need a drink of water. Okay. Do you have a place where we can send camping ideas such as camping sites or areas? I mean, I have an email address, uh, bomboutdoors at gmail.com. Feel free to email me there uh, if you guys have any ideas for me or any places to go. You can just head over there to gmail and send it to bomboutdoors at gmail.com. Hello, Gerald. How are you? Doing well? It is uh, Saturday night. It's getting colder in here, you guys. I kind of wish I had the stove. <laughs> right here's where the stove would go. And I didn't put in the floor. Because I thought about whittling something, actually. But I don't know that I... I don't know that I can whittle anything. I don't really know what to do. And I'd hate to cut myself. <laughs> so here it is. A little bit of whittling, I guess. Let's see. Yeah. Um, so. Guess I'm just going to play real quick. I better not cut myself. Actually, I have protection. Cut proof glove. At least it's supposed to be. Put that on your hand.
And then I've got a little thumb protector. I'm sure that once you become like a seasoned like whittler, you don't use this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's not true. <laughs> but let's see really quick if I can carve something. I hope you guys are okay with this. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. Let's see here. Got to put it down. Okay. All right. We're going to do a little whittling. I have no clue what it's going to be or if it'll even be anything. Um, I'll try to get to your guys' comments while I'm doing it too. Okay, let's see. So I don't even know what I'm doing. I've just been having fun with this whittling thing. Uh, I wanted to try to make a face, but I don't know if this is the kind of wood you would want to make a face out of, but we can try, I guess. Yes, if he cuts himself, I will come running. <laughs> okay, I just sharpened this, so we're, we're going to try this. So I've seen all types of, one of the persons that I was watching, uh, his name is Doug, I think it's Lynn, I can't remember what his name is. Well, this isn't as, as sharp as I thought it was going to be, or as easy as it was going to be. Oh, I already ruined it. Okay. That's okay. So this is basswood, um, which is supposed to be like the easiest thing to carve. At least that's what I found out through this. Okay, so how'd they do this? <laughs> Doug, that's who I'm thinking. Yes. I need him to tell me how to do this. <laughs> I've already cut myself? All right, so I've already cut myself. <laughs> I don't know how I did that either. Maybe you guys saw it. So that was kind of why I didn't really want to do that, but I'm okay. I don't even know how I cut myself. Um, but anyways, we'll just kind of pretend like that didn't happen. I'm, I'm going to do a little bit more of that carbon thing. And I'm going to get better at it. And I, I thought that I was all protected there. I think I just poked myself. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh... <laughs> No, it's really, it's really not bleeding. It was just like a little tiny poke, but I don't know how it happened. So the, there, there's a lesson for you guys. Always be careful when you're whittling. <laughs> As I leave blood, blood marks on my wood. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, Doug is one of the guys that I was, I was watching and 
he can do such cool carvings. Like it's amazing what he can do. And I know that he just started not long ago. Well, I mean, he started a couple of years ago, four years ago or five years ago. And man, it's cool. I mean, if you guys haven't seen that, I think is I can't remember his channel name. It's Doug something. And he can carve up a mean carbon. So that's something that I was looking at trying to do. I don't know how I cut myself. It's just a little little poke. That's all it was. And I, that's why I didn't really want to do it. I felt like I know I'm going to hurt myself in, in front of everybody. <laughs> Yeah, my, my carving piece can be like Wilson from Castaway. <laughs> so uh, let's see here. Well, we'll just forget about the carving thing. <laughs> Oops. Yes, Doug Linker. That's his channel. You guys go check that out. Um, if you just like seeing but somebody in the woods, uh, camping around. I mean, he does a lot of camping and he also does uh, wood carving. And that's, I've been like binge watching his stuff. And what he can carve out of something like this is crazy. It's super crazy. So I thought that the, I would try it. And it's kind of one of those things. Once I get hooked on something, I want to try it and I want to try to master it. And that's just, that's kind of who I am. Uh, I get so kind of fixated on things and, and I'm, I'm, I'm in it until I know how to do it. And stuff like this even kind of frustrates me. Like, how did I cut myself? How did I nick myself? I don't know. I'll have to rewatch this video and see. <laughs> um, It might have been before I even started whittling because what I noticed is that when I don't put this thing down, I'm sorry, guys. When I don't put this all the way down, so I pulled this out. I might have caught it on this one right here because it wasn't all the way down. I think that's what I did because I sure didn't hit myself while I was trying to cut. Yes, Lisa, do that. Go check out his channel. Go watch him uh, carve some stuff. It is so cool. <laughs> you have 10 tries to whittle something. <laughs> if I would have brought a band-aid because it is bleeding a little bit, I would keep going, but I don't want you guys to see blood. Blood. <laughs> Let me see if I can wash it off. There we go. Yeah, I forgot. Okay. Give me one second here. Clean my wound. It's embarrassing. It really is. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I knew I was like, maybe I shouldn't just do it. Because what if I cut myself in front of a live audience? Everybody's left now. <laughs> okay. My channel makes me want to go camping again definitely do it. If you haven't been camping in a long time, um, you should do it because it's just so much fun. It's, it's great to get out into the elements. Um, I just feel so much better after going camping, uh, and the fresh air. I love seeing the stars, the campfires, all that. Um, it really is a blessing to go, go out and camp and enjoy yourself. So please, John, Go out camping. Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. 
he just did that bunny rabbit. Um, I was watching him make, going back to Doug here, I was watching him make a little uh, rabbit toy that like would hop by itself down the hill. It was really cool. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I don't need a Band-Aid. I've stopped the bleeding. It's just my uh, my my feelers right now. <laughs> I feel bad. Am I enjoying the e-bike? Yes, I really like the e-bike. Um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have more videos with the e-bike coming up this uh, summer summertime probably. Uh, I fl I plan on uh, getting some like uh, what do you call them saddlebags or panniers. And really decking out the bike, if that's something you guys want to see. Um, I really like the the e-scooter, though. I don't know if you guys saw the last video where I went on the e-scooter. That is a lot of fun. Dangerous. Very dangerous. And I actually should have a, uh, <laughs> a, a full-face helmet when I'm riding that thing. Because that thing is so fast. I saw a light go out. Oh, it's dead now. Um, that e-scooter is so fun, so much fun. <laughs> yeah, that's right. More e-bike adventures. All right, I'll do it. I'll do more e-bike stuff. Um, that thing is really fun. I was trying to figure out how I could actually charge it. So like, say I went on a couple of day trips, like a multi-day trip, how far I could go. And if I could charge it with like a solar panel or something, uh, I thought that that would be really fun to do and just try out. Um, I don't know how far it'll go. But it would be fun. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We'll get recentered. Oh, my chair is starting to dig down into the ground. Okay, uh, are you talking about what what video? The last one? The waterfall. Probably on the same place that I... Uh, the abandoned farm. Yeah, there's a waterfall out there. And it's out in the middle of nowhere, kind of. And it's super cool. But very random. <laughs> All right. Okay, what Lisa says. What YouTuber inspired you to do an outdoor channel? Hmm. Man, there's quite there's so many of them out there that I like to watch. Initially, You know what really got me into it too was it I don't know if a lot of you guys have seen the show alone where people go out there for like well however long they can survive on 10 items or whatever um I think I initially started watching a little bit of Joe Robinette um when he was doing some canoeing bushcrafting stuff uh, I watched a little bit of him so he was an inspiration and oh man uh there's another one called it's called brooks and birches i think that's what it's called brooks and birches uh he was a another inspiration um and also lone wolf 902 i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen his stuff um 
when I really started getting into it, I think I was watching his videos quite a bit because I'd never seen a hot tent before. And he, he had, it was so cool seeing in a hot tent and I watched a lot of his stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I really got into the alone series for a while and I, we, me and my wife watched like every episode. We just kept watching back and back. And, uh, yeah. and then I saw that Joe was on there. So I followed Joe and then some of the other guys that won, they've started channels too. And I, I follow a lot of the outdoor guys and I don't know. <laughs> no, Shelby doesn't. <laughs> Okay, what else? Uh, yeah, actually, I wanted to make... Okay, guys. I, <laughs> here's how my ideas go. This live stream that we're doing right now, um, I wanted to make it a 24-hour live stream. So I don't know if that's something any of you guys are interested in, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to go camping overnight. So I would basically show up uh, in the morning, start the live stream with you guys, uh, set up camp, um, you know, get everything ready to go, get my tent set up, uh, chat with you guys, uh, put my sleeping bed, bed together, do all the normal stuff, go chop wood, uh, make a campfire and then stay up as long as I could, uh, you know, cook food and all that all live, uh, like do a 24 hour live stream. Uh, I don't know if that's anything that you guys are interested in, but we could definitely do that. Um, I think I would have the power as long as I had good cell service. So I'd have to find a good place. And uh, basically, I would camp until I got too tired. I'd go to bed. I would keep the live stream going while I'm sleeping. <laughs> this sounds weird, but I put a little like whiteboard up right here with a clock. And I would tell you what time I was going to wake up. So like alarm is set for 6 a.m. And you could look at the clock and see at what time I was going to wake up and uh, wake up get back into the live stream, uh, make breakfast and then end it. So I don't know if that's something any of you guys would want to watch. Um, I know nobody would really watch it the whole entire time. Uh, but you would show up here and there and you could check in, uh, as I'm camping and see what I'm up to. I don't know if that's a good idea, but if anybody's interested in it, let me know. Uh, because I wanted to do it. Uh, I just didn't get enough time. Uh, we had this event today we, where we went uh, roller skating with the kids and I, I forgot about it because I was going to do it Friday night into Saturday and it just didn't work. But if that's something you guys wanted to do, like a 24 hour live stream, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sleep streams against Twitch terms of service i don't know what that means but i'll have to look into youtube's too because i don't know if, if youtube has like a policy against that um then maybe i can't do it but yeah wiley could be there <laughs> we'd have fun with wiley so yeah i don't know i uh, i thought that it would be kind of fun um, now you got me interested or thinking about what YouTube thinks of that. I know people do 24 hour, seven day a week live streams of just like trail cams. So you can always get on and, and watch a trail cam. So I don't see why there would be a problem with somebody sleeping, uh, for a little bit of time. Um, maybe that's just a Twitch thing. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that was a lot of fun uh, camping in that uh, in the snow with the candles. 
I thought that video was going to be a little bit bigger than it was, but it, it wasn't, <laughs> but I thank you. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I agree. Um, I would basically bring along my little, my portable power pack. And I've got a ton of power packs. I mean, I've got, Right now we're charging my phone with this power pack, which is at three bars. So this is an anchor anchor product. I think this is 10,000 amp hours. Yeah, this thing, this thing goes with me everywhere. I have a 10,000, I have a 20,000, and then I've got the big old power station there. I believe I should be able to get through 24 hours of a live stream. Um, and also I could be charging the, uh, the power station while I'm out there. So that would help. It would definitely help. So, yeah, if that's something you guys want to see, we'll do it. I don't know if anybody's ever done it on YouTube. <laughs> uh, okay, how much time do you need usually from shooting to editing to uploading? Um, so I usually go camping for... Uh, I go for one night, typically. I come back the next day. The next day when I get home, probably around like three or four in the evening, I'll upload all my video to my computer. And then after that, uh, the next day, I usually is about two days of editing. And it's usually probably like 14 hours, hour days of editing. Um, and it depends on how creative I am. Like in this last video that I did, I didn't do anything crazy. I wasn't super creative. I got that one done in probably one day in 14 hours. Uh, but some of the other ones where I do a little more transitions, I do, um, I use the drone. Um, I get more creative with my shots. There's a lot more editing that goes in, into that. And it usually takes me at least two days. And that, those can be at least 14 hour days. I wake up and I start editing and then I go to bed at whatever time and I wake up and I start editing again. So <laughs> it can be quite the uh, process, but um, I enjoy it. I enjoy editing, but it just takes some time. Definitely takes some time. All right, you guys. Well, we've been streaming for two hours now. And it is currently 10.39, so 10.40. I'm going to have to get out of here and get to bed. We've got church in the morning and getting tired. <laughs> and it's cold. It's 36 degrees in here. <laughs> so I just want to thank you guys once again, every one of you that is still here in the live stream. Um, I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, and like I said, I'll be back at making videos this coming week. So you can expect another video next weekend. Um, I'm trying to get them out on Saturdays. That's usually the, the day that I want to upload my videos is on Saturdays, uh, in usually in the morning, maybe. Um, but if I don't get it out on Saturday, maybe it'll be on Sunday. It just all depends, <laughs> but look for that next, look for the next video coming next week. And I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend and stay safe out there and don't cut yourself carving <laughs> or how I got to figure out how I cut myself. I don't know.
But I just want to thank you guys once again. Have a blessed uh, Sunday. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Uh, make sure you check me out over there on Instagram if you haven't already. I'll post updates and stuff there. So thank you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.